What I'd like to talk today about is thinking like a bass player. Sometimes a bass player will come into a band and they start playing a lot of right notes and a lot of technical things, and, but they're not making the band sound better. A bass line is only as good as how it makes the other members of the band sound. If that is your criteria for playing, you're going to play better because you're thinking everything I play is not for me, but for how I will make the other people sound. If you have a gig that starts at eight o'clock, you don't show up at five minutes to eight. Some people do that. And then you're scrambling, trying to set up and you're a little late or whatever. It makes everybody uncomfortable. Let's say the piano player turns the beat around. The drummer decides, I'm not going to turn the beat around. So I'm in the middle. The piano player is playing on one time and the drummer is playing on the other time. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll try to go with the piano player and get the drummer to kind of compensate. Uh, and I'll look at them like, help. <laughs> and, and hopefully they, they will come around. At the end of the night, you don't expect everyone in the band to say, oh, thank you so much for supporting us all night and making us sound great. We really appreciate that. You're not going to hear that. But what you want to hear, and hopefully you'll hear, is, uh, oh, yeah, tonight was, was great, or whatever they might say. And they'll say, well, you know, we're playing uh, next month at the so-and-so club. Uh, can you make the gig? That is the thank you you want to hear.